shed blame? No, you're going to take all the blame. Here's the deal. Um, <laughs> I'm going to apply some dead eye damage to my uh, cylinder repair because normally every time I do something, the whole YouTube nation tells me what I did wrong. So if it's, anything goes wrong this time, it's his fault. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> you know, we might get to having too much fun out here and do something <laughs> unrepairable if we're not careful. I'm going to get Mr. Tripod out because we might want to record this. Oh, we wanted to, yeah, we wanted to do a, a shot of this to see how everything comes apart. So we've got, this is actually that white thing I was showing you. It looks like, looks like cork, but that's just because it's coming apart. And then we got this red one and these two black ones. And the guy at the shop was telling me that this red one is actually where you get the majority of your sealage from. And he's also telling me that all of the sealage comes from this end. All this this doesn't do much up here. If that leaks, it's going to blow out up here anyway. This one has those little seals inside. And if you look at them, you can see how those are cracked. Yeah, lined right up too. Yeah. And then there's this little seal in the end. So uh, that's probably just a matter of poking them out with a screwdriver and cleaning it up a little bit and poking them back in there. This looks like it has a threaded piece on here. Probably takes a special wrench, but it may be that if we can turn that. I don't know if it, that will turn and unscrew. Of course, it looks like most of these seals would pull off. I don't know if the new ones would stretch on or if you turn that off, this one compresses. Right, these all come apart in sections, so you don't right. have to squish the seals to put them on. Right. So, I don't know if we put a little punch in one of these and tap it, whether we can get that started to turn. We probably don't want to put a big wrench on the edge and scar that edge all up. Right. I'm betting. I think you're right though. We'll put a punch in the end, just twist it. Give it a little tap, tap, tap. We'll put a couple in the end, a bar between them, and yeah. I mean, put a couple pins in the end and put a wrench between them. Yeah. Yeah, we got enough hands to. Uh, and yeah. I'll hold this end like this, and it'll go. Can't be afraid. It's not worth much the way it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the old ring goes on underneath the seal. We ought to show this because these people don't want to know how this works. So let's stop and let's put this on. Let's make a quick video. Okay, this is how this came apart. These two big black seals were out here, one there and one there, and we noticed they were cracked. Well, when we got to looking at the new ones, the new ones are the same way. They have a split in them, kind of like a piston ring. So you can spread those and get them on. And this white seal is the one that replaces this one. It looks a lot like a cork seal. Now I'm wondering if that, well, I don't know. But uh, cause that looks pretty small, don't it? Then we got this little red ring, which would probably replace this little red ring. And I noticed we also had this little band right here. And Dan just noticed that there's a band underneath there. So maybe that band goes under this seal. And this goes over that seal. That's what we're thinking so far. And then this little ring goes in the uh, little gizmo right here. So, and it looks like they all just stretch on and come off. This thing's threaded and it looks like it would turn off, but even if it did, you still have to force these on here. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna force them on there.